We got to refute this idea that it's the same Jesus. Muslims will say that we worship Jesus, you worship Jesus. The Bible says that Jesus is the Son of the living God. Amen? Amen. Jesus answered them, I told you and you do not believe. The works that I do in my Father's name, these testify of me, and I and the Father are one. And of course, many, many, many more verses, including the very famous John 3.16, right? For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten Son. Divine, supernatural begotten. The Bible says that Jesus is fully God and fully man. This is one of the things that unfortunately Muslims don't understand. They think as Christians we believe that a a man became God. No, no, no. God became man. He was fully God, left his throne to come to earth so that we can understand what it is like to follow the Father, obey the Father, and be able to have eternal life in him. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we saw his glory, glory as the one begotten from the Father, full of grace and truth, John Chapter 1, verse 14. And lastly, of course, you know the very famous passage in John 14, where Jesus said that I am the only path of salvation. He said, Jesus said to his disciples, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No one comes to the Father but me. He didn't say, I am a way, I am a truth, I am a life. There's multiple ways to God. He made this claim. Well, guess what? He backed up the claim. He backed up the claim. And we can trust Him. Amen? We can trust Him. We can trust Him. But this is why I said earlier tonight, folks, we've got to be more, more, a little bit more hardened and not afraid of in love confronting those who say, oh yeah, I'm a Christian. But I believe that there's more than one way to God. No ma'am, no sir, you're not a Christian. I don't know what kind of Christian you are, but you're not a biblical Christian. We gotta say in love to these people, if you really want to be a Christian, you need to surrender your life fully to Christ. Fully. Now, what does the Quran say about this? Jesus! Jesus in the Quran, right? Wrong. Isa is in the Quran. And it's spelled ISA, Isa. Now, as, as, as those from Iran, uh, when we reach out to, to uh, uh, believers, Muslim background believers, those who are, have now become Christians, we will use the term Isa, but we spell it E E S A, Isa, and then we'll say Masi. Isa and Masi, which means Jesus the Messiah. This Isa is very different. Isa is mentioned in the Quran 97 times, from, our, from, our, from the best of our, our understanding. But every time he's mentioned in the Quran, he's mentioned as a prophet. In fact, Isa of the Quran refutes everything we believe about the Jesus of the Bible. Look at this verse Surah 5, 72 to 75 in the Quran. They have certainly disbelieved who say, raise your hand please one more time, very good. That's us Christians, we have disbelieved who say, Allah is the Messiah, the son of Mary. While the Messiah has said, look at Jesus' the term Messiah, but it, it, it refutes what it means to us. The Messiah has said, O children of Israel, worship Allah, my Lord and your Lord. Indeed, he who associates others with Allah, now let's look at the punishment. Allah has forbidden him from paradise, and his refuge is the fire. Wow. So Esau of the Quran is pretty serious. He says, if you Christians associate me, Esau, who I'm only a messenger, which you're going to see in a minute, the punishment for you Christians is, Allah is going to condemn you from heaven, you're going to go to hell and be in the fire of hell. How nice is that? Not so good. Exactly. We have a common word, right? Common God. The Messiah, son of Mary, this verse goes on to say, the Messiah, son of Mary, was not but a messenger, according to his own words. The Esau of the Quran says, I I wasn't but a messenger or a prophet. Other messengers have passed on before him. And then it says his mother was a supporter of the truth. She wouldn't follow this lie. And then it goes on to say a very bizarre thing, and they both used to eat food. And you're going, what does that have to do with anything? Well, this is one of the, actually one of the tactics that Muslims use to attack Christians. They'll say, you believe in a man became God. You believe that that man uh, was hungry, had to sleep, had to go to the bathroom. So how can that be God? And we don't know how to answer that question. Rather than saying to the Muslim, listen, unfortunately you have it wrong. 
God became man. He came down to us because we couldn't reach up to him. He came down to us. He showed us what it's like to follow the Father. He showed us what it's like to go through hardship and struggle and persecution, to be hungry, to be thirsty, and still be obedient to the Father. Not the opposite. But the Quran denies himself, right? By the way, Jesus, prophet of Islam, remember those billboards I said from Australia? This is another one. Jesus, only a prophet. Also, the Quran says, and they said, the most merciful one, remember that's us again, the they, us Christians, that the most merciful Allah, remember though I said to you earlier, the most merciful God, the all merciful God, that's used in the Quran many, many times to describe Allah. Never in the Bible. And we Christians send them a letter saying, please forgive us, Allah. Forgive us for the Crusades. Forgive us for those darn war on terror. Look how serious this is according to what the Quran says. And they said the most merciful Allah is taking for himself a son. Assuredly, you utter a hideous thing whereby almost the heavens are torn and the earth is split asunder and the mountains fall in ruins that they ascribe unto the most merciful a son when it is not suitable for the majesty of the most merciful that he should take a son. Can it be any clearer how they feel? The Quran vehemently denies the sonship of Jesus Christ. It is vehemently a denier of Christ. Therefore, it is what kind of spirit? Antichrist. We're not trying to say that to be offensive. We're just speaking the truth. It is a spirit that denies Christ. There is no middle ground. There is no common ground. It ain't the same Jesus, folks. Allah has no son, very clearly according to Islam. In fact, the sad thing is, many Muslims pray this daily in their prayers. Many Muslims who who do not speak Arabic must pray in Arabic. Every Muslim, whether whatever your language is, is commanded to pray in Arabic. And when they pray in Arabic, they have to remember these, these prayers. They recite them. They have to memorize them. And they actually have to say them in a very proper language and tone. Otherwise, they can get in trouble. So do you know that these Muslims in their prayers, many of them don't know, they're actually saying in their prayers, Allah has no son. They're actually denying Christ in their daily prayers. And you're going to see later that when these missionaries are selling, saying Muslims, listen, you can believe in Jesus Christ and remain a Muslim or stay in your Muslim community. Go to the mosque, do your daily prayers. <gasps> and yet in their daily prayers, they're denying Jesus Christ. What are we telling them? What are we doing? Here's a billboard that now ICNA is promoting in America. ICNA is the Islamic Circle of North America. It is a front group for the Muslim Brotherhood an unindicted co-conspirator with ties to Hamas. They're putting these billboards all over the country, particularly in the south, in the Bible Belt. So, ICNA put these billboards, this is from Georgia. They put this billboard in Norcross down in Georgia, and it says, find Jesus in the Quran, 345. Now, question is, is this billboard for Muslims? Oh, really? No, who do you think it's for? Christians and then the rest of the society in our culture that has no belief system or is susceptible to being converted to Islam. And so they want us Christians to believe that Jesus is in the Quran. And so how many Christians do you think read this or go to their church and the pastor is promoting the imam that comes there and says that Jesus is in the Quran? How many Christians do you think hear that or read that and go, well, it must be true because my pastor said it. It must be true because the billboard said it. It must be true because a Muslim said it. Yes. And yet they don't know the teachings that in the Quran itself, I just showed you how vehemently the earth torn apart, the heavens fall and collapse, and you're going to go to hell if you associate Allah with a son. You see, Allah doesn't have children, according to the Quran. He's not a father. Can I tell you that in my testimony, that was the most profound things that blew my heart, blew my mind. When this young lady who was sharing her faith with me says, God is my father. At first it went over my head. And I thought, wow, I want to know more about that. What do you mean he's your father? He's our heavenly father, amen? The God of the Bible has sons and daughters. 
And the Bible says we're co-heirs with him. Man, that's amazing. But this is what we believe.